Hi, I'm Melissa, head of Ecom Content. Now that you've already designed your storefront, let's dive into creating your product pages. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create effective product pages, add product images and descriptions to your pages, design product pages in the Wix editor, and use Wix tools to feature specific products. Before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about merchandising. Merchandising really consists of how you display your products and the order that you decide to show your products online. So there's a difference when you're talking about a showroom versus a web room. A showroom is basically how your products look like in the store. Whereas a web room, if you're taking that concept to the online space, it's how your products look on your website. So let's take a look at an example of what I'm talking about. When we're talking about web room, Take this site, for example. You can see all their products in real life so that the customer can actually picture what their product is going to look like in their own home or in their own space. So as you start creating your site, you're probably going to arrange your products into galleries, collections, and product pages. The point of galleries and collections is to group similar products that go together, whether they are the same type of products or they're thematically linked. So for example, you might have a spring collection or a collection on men's clothing. So as you create your product collections, think about how you want to organize your products. Let's take a look at an example from a real Wix merchant. In this case, he organized his illustrations into prints, bestsellers, stickers, the different types of product offerings that he had for his actual illustrations. In another example, we have a Wix merchant that has organized their products into subscriptions, their actual boxes, as well as accessories for their tea brewing company. So now that you see how products can be organized into a collection, let's look at individual product pages. Product pages are the point where you focus on one product only. So let's take a look at an example to see how they're doing it. Some of the great things about their product page is that they included the dimensions, the materials that they used, as well as multiple images for their products so that users can really picture what the product looks like before they purchase, as well as get a feel for what the product may look like in their own home. So when you have a product page, it's usually dedicated to one specific product. Your customers now already know what they want, so your product page needs to include details that really help them close the deal and really help them decide that they really want to buy this product. So the key merchant takeaway here is whether you sell online or you have a brick and mortar store, the whole customer shopping experience needs to be seamless. And once users get to your page, they need to see relevant info about your products. Finally, really, really, you need to think about your purchase funnel. So it's the whole experience from when your customer lands on your site to when they are browsing through collections, going to a product page, adding it to their cart, and then finally checking out. So let's now discuss what are the elements of great product pages. It's always important to use high quality product images. So you need to make sure that you shoot your pictures in good lighting with clear black drops so that your images really stand out. In this site, the merchant uses a lot of great high quality images. As you can see, the images look professional. The backdrop is very clean and neat so that the product really stands out. Whereas in this merchant site, we can see that they have multiple images showcasing their product and all the variants that it comes in. So users can get a real sense of the sheer variety this merchant has to offer. When you're creating your product descriptions, make sure you have your product name, your product price, as well as a description that really gives the user a sense of what they're getting. As you can see with this Wix merchant, they have great images and they're showing what it would look like in multiple ways. So for example, what it looks like with a plain frame, a black frame. Also, they're showing multiple dimensions of the product and how the product actually looks like in a home so that users can really get a sense of what they're purchasing. When you're creating your product descriptions, try as much as possible to include your SEO keywords. Keep it natural, but it's important to at least have them somewhere on your page so that Google knows how to find you and that your page is relevant to people who are searching for key terms. Now let me show you how to create your individual product pages using Wix. So you're going to go to the Wix Stores dashboard, store products, and then add new product. 
To upload products that you already have, you can do it really easily. All you need to do is just upload it with a CSV file. If you have digital or physical products that you haven't already organized into a product catalog, this is how you're going to add it. You can add your images and product videos, then add your product info, a name. If you want to add a product ribbon, such as new or limited edition, or maybe it's a fall collection, add the ribbon to just give your product extra attention and extra focus. Then add your price and start creating your product description. With Wix, it's great because you can play around with a lot of rich text options, such as font, color, creating bulleted or numbered lists, but you don't have to. The best solution is always to keep it simple because otherwise it's really, really hard to read your information. If you want to include additional info on your product pages, feel free to include your shipping or return policy, or maybe care instructions for a product or your warranty policy. For example, you're creating print-on-demand products or something that can be personalized, add a custom text field so that users can then tell you some extra information that they want to go along with their product. Then add your variants, whether they're sizes, colors, or the different materials that a product comes available in. This is where you'll set up your inventory and shipping rules. So it's always a good idea to turn on inventory tracking. That way you can keep track of all your products at all times, especially if you have multiple product variants. So here is where you'll mark whether items are in stock, out of stock, or the quantities that you have left. You can add your SKUs as well as the product weight, which will help you when it comes down to shipping. For advanced settings, you'll click here. And this is where you'll create your individual tax groups. This is a great idea if you're selling multiple types of products, such as kids' clothing as well as kids' toys. They may be taxed differently, so it's important to make sure that you tax your customers appropriately. Now let's go to the editor. This is where you'll actually create and design the look of your product pages. Okay, so this is what your product page looks like in the editor. So you're just gonna go click page and then product page. Now what you can really do to enhance your product pages is add a related products gallery. This is great to boost sales and recommend other products that are related to the one that you're selling on the page for your customers. In order to do that, click add, store, and then related products. And then add products that you think are similar or that could go together as great gift. And then to give customers a sense of what other people think about the product, you should add product ratings and reviews. To do that, go to Contact and Forms, Forms, and Feedback. Then as customers complete the reviews or how they feel about your product, it'll instantly populate your page. On your store, you may want to feature or give a product some extra attention and spotlight. So in order to do that, there are multiple ways. You can create a specific collection or gallery for that product. You can use a product widget, or you can add an Add to Cart button to any one of your site pages. Okay, so collections and galleries are great because they give your customers an opportunity to sort and filter through your products and really be able to find what they're looking for. To create a collection or gallery, your products have to be added individually from your Wix stores dashboard. Okay, so let's create a product widget. Product widgets are really great for highlighting a specific product on any one of your site pages. In order to do that, you need to go to Add, click Store, then Product Widget. Now let's add an Add to Cart button. The standalone Add to Cart button is a great way that customers can instantly add any product item right to their cart. In order to do that, you need to go to Add, click Store, then add to cart button. So I hope you got some great tips and inspiration for how to create your product pages, collections, and galleries. Thanks for joining me and check out the next lesson.